I don't like being on camera. You ready, Erica? Yeah, I'm gonna yawn. My hands are cold. I figured out. <laughs> <laughs> It's times like this that we feel forever grateful for the gift of sight, the ability to absorb the world's beauty through two lenses affixed to our faces, forming lasting memories on the organic SD cards in our minds. Of course, we're also quite thankful for the less organic tools at our disposal, digitally imprinting our surroundings on tiny pieces of plastic, the shuttering of images in a compact box, light refracted through spherical glass, all these tools affixed to our hands. A simple click creates a memory that, ideally, lives on eternally. It's tradition now that we compile these digital imprints, these memories, these images that make up what we refer to as a year. A sort of time capsule to look back upon and remember. And in even truer tradition, you know we like to innovate, to roll the dice and experiment with new formats and structures. So instead of this pleasant voiceover simply telling you what happened this past year, why don't we tell you ourselves? The past year for me has been a year of evolution, both as a company, but also personally for myself. I've seen the company evolve uh, and mature in a way that it has done slowly over the last few years, but this year has been a big jump. Uh, everything from hiring people in new roles that we've never had before to moving into a new office that gives us more space and more flexibility to seeing uh, different employees and different team members step up into their roles and take on more responsibilities. All of these evolutions have turned into a growth and a maturity of our company, and it's been a lot of fun to see this last year. With each year passing, we often see fresh faces enter our doors, talented individuals that begin making an immediate impact within our team and in the work we do. Whether a budding professional or a forward-thinking student of the industry, we cherish these new friendships and the memories yet to come. I had the opportunity to work with Pixel Labs on a few different projects from virtual reality to videos. And it was just the experience every time that I had working with Pixel Labs. So me being the client, it just drew me in. And so I always, um, I always wanted to be more, in more of an agency role. And so when the timing kind of lined up to take that step, it was just such an easy decision just because of the, the relationship that I have with Pixel Labs staff and just the, how they treat clients, how we work with clients. And so that's what made it really easy. And, being a part of Pixel Labs team has been super cool. Probably the best place I've ever worked. Uh, everyone here is super nice. The culture's fantastic. I can basically just ask any questions that I can have and everyone's like there with answers and like, oh, here's some cri like constructive criticism. By the way, you're also doing this fantastically and like stuff like that. And it's just really cool the amount of opportunities that I've been able to get. And of course, we cherish the new while also honoring the familiar as their lives and talents continue to grow, helping us grow and succeed alongside them. Uh, okay, Noah, what's up? <laughs> Is that my first question? <laughs> sure. Not a lot. Just chilling, doing an interview. Yeah. Living my life. So I think this year I've seen the most growth with myself personally. I think probably in just like my storytelling ability or just like the kind of ability like to take something that may not be a super like story driven concept and kind of turn it into more of a story. Like I try to, whenever I'm editing and stuff, I try to make it as like engaging as possible, even if it's not necessarily like a fictional story being told. So I think one of the things that's been different this past year that I've really enjoyed was, I gotta say having Aaron on board has been a great help, especially on the video side of things. Um, the ideas that he comes with and his ability to, you know, kind of be middleman between us and the client. We've been able to do a lot of really cool things, not only in videos, but within campaigns themselves. Uh, specifically one I can think of this year was, um, you know, working with CFCCU. I really enjoyed our, our mortgage commercial that we did this year. That was one of the more organized productions that we've had um, from a well-rounded aspect in a long time, you know. It was just an amazing collaborative effort that I've learned a lot from even having been here for so long. You know, you're still learning things and still learning how to better processes. I think having Aaron on board has helped out a lot with that, so. This year has been really, really cool just in and of itself with everything that's been going on that kind of 
enjoying some of like the smaller moments has been really cool to just kind of see like earlier this year, like spur of the moment after work, deciding to rearrange our office at the old one and kind of that like more last minute stuff kind of goes back to like the chaotic nature that we are. That's how you end up with those fun memories and kind of just enjoying everything with work and life. Each new year offers new challenges. Thankfully, one of our biggest hurdles to overcome this year was sort of a positive one. So we moved? Uh, we moved in November. Oh gosh, the move. I think I have a little bit of mixed feelings about the move. I guess I would say stressful in some aspects. Um, exciting too. It was really fun. We upgraded quite a bit from where we used to be. I'm obviously very glad about where we're at. I really love our new space. It's so much bigger and the like capacity and the capabilities that it seems to have as soon as it's all put together is just blows my mind. We always made jokes that Aaron never had a desk, but now he luckily has a desk. I'm very happy that he finally gets a place to work instead of floating around. There was a lot of joking around that I didn't really have a desk just because there wasn't enough space for everything. So I'd work in the podcast booth. And so it's awesome now to kind of have like our home that everybody has their spot. Everybody has the place that they get to work and we're able to collaborate. We're able to be together. My favorite thing about the office is having our own front door. And I also like that there's a storage area that's not going to be full of Zach's boxes. <laughs> When I started the company in 2014, we were in the incubator. And in 2016 was when we moved out of that space and into our first official office. And for me, that was a big step as a company. Well, we spent five years there uh, until just this year in 2021, we had the opportunity to move to a new space. And it's the space that we're in right now. And the funny thing about this space is that early on in my career, I actually worked in the same office. The door that you see right back here was my office in 2012 is when I was in that office. To be back in the space now and not have it be someone else's but be ours is kind of nostalgic in a way. There's a lot of memories that I had here from my time in this space, but I'm excited right now for our ability to make our own memories in this space and see what we can do with the space as Pixel Labs. Who we work with year to year may vary, but the impact left on us with each new project is something worth mentioning. One of my favorite experiences on set or on a production this year was getting back to do the fusion recitals in person. Nothing beats live performance. And I just remember the past couple times in the past where we you know, were able to shoot fusions performances live and in person, it's just such an electrifying experience. But just reminded me of how rewarding it has been to work with them as um, a client since I've started here and, and even long before that as well. One of my favorite projects this year was probably the Mortgage Center campaign with CFCCU to like see something that you designed on that scale and that level of people seeing them is really, really cool. I get to work with you know, financial institutions like CFCCU that have all these campaigns going on. They have their members that they're really excited to serve and they're, they're, they're pretty large in terms of the scale of clients that we work with. Then down to the, like the World with Nate podcast who just launched his newsletter this year for his podcast. Being able to work with clients who just have different interests, different um, products that they're putting out there. It really is an awesome experience. Just And that was one of the things that I was looking for when I joined Pixel Labs was I love the idea of working with a bunch of different people of course, our brains don't always allow us to remember the entirety of each year, but there is usually one moment that stands out, something that sticks with us, memories that make us look back with a smile on our faces, hope in our hearts, or sometimes laughter. One of my favorite memories or experiences of the year, I got to go to Indiana, uh, which was really cool, especially because I lived there for two years. So it was kind of like a nice, like revisiting old stomping grounds, I guess. We got to shoot for uh, AOE, which is one of the, our big clients, and I've heard so much about them during my time here, but I didn't really understand any of the processes or what they were about or stuff like that. And then I got to go and I got to see, and it was just a really cool experience. Uh, it was super fun. And then my other favorite memory is uh, getting to go on a shoot for LS Tractors. We ought to be outside on a beautiful day, and it was really cool seeing uh, Tristan and Noah take photos and videos and, like, do all these cool things with tractors. It was also the most Iowa-centric experience I've ever had. So I think one of my favorite memories from this year was probably doing the 48 hour again. Every year with that project, we've taken it one step further. Last year, we 
got pretty serious about it where we assigned roles, we had jobs for people. We still kept it rather internal. This year, we actually branched out and asked people like, do you wanna join our team? It really did feel more like that, a very collaborative space, which I think we've gotten more into. Just reaching out to people within our community or like around the area, asking to like be a part of our team for something and see what they can bring to the table and get to work with just a bunch of variety of people. One of the first trips of this year that we took, we went to Chicago, Zach and I, and I think what was so fun about that was we had just gotten our new Edelkrone slider and we went around right next to the bean and got some really fun um, and really unique time lapses. It was really nice to be able to travel and be in a bigger city. We were able to kind of get out a little bit and get back to uh, what we really enjoy doing when we travel, which is getting out there and creating and exploring. And while we try to remain present, focused on the here and now, it's hard not to think about the future. The hope of what's to come, the changes, good and bad, new homes, new loved ones, new goals, new unknowns. This year, I've been able to have so many cool opportunities. It's just been really nice to be able to be invited on different shoots and being asked to do different projects and like, hey, do you want to come learn how to do this? And just randomly out of the blue, people thinking about things that I might want to learn or things that I might want to get to be a part of. And it's just really cool to be able to tag along and be a part of this team and see all of the creative and amazing things that they're doing. I'm not exactly sure what the next few years look like, but I'm so, so sure about that the expertise will be here, the hard work, the work ethic will be here. And so whatever that does look like, whatever those services are, they're gonna be done really, really well. And I just, that's just really exciting for me is to know that this is gonna be a team that, that works well together, that works hard to make sure that everything is done. At the end of the day, the clients are happy so that we can be the best at, at what we do. I just see a lot of growth in the team just within these last few months. And if that continues for the next few years, there'll be a lot of really cool things happening. I think the future as a company is really exciting. We're just at a spot where we have a lot of growth going on, and I think it's going to be really exciting to see how that not only amplifies and just kind of seeing how growing as a team and just kind of expanding and growing as individuals is going to be a really cool thing to see and just kind of growing together and just seeing what the future holds. One thing I'm looking forward to going into 2022 is the continued evolution of what we're gonna be able to do with our new space, especially the new studio space that we have. I feel like a lot of clients that we've been talking to have seen the work we've done on like either our personal time, like with the 48 hour, or they've just seen what we've done for some other clients that maybe wanna go a little bit more of a creative route. And they're asking for a little bit more creative projects or just with the new studio space we're gonna get. I know we're coming up with a lot of different ideas of how we can utilize that space more often. I'm really excited to see what different types of things we can create there, what type of different services and experiences we can offer to clients. I think it'll be really unique. It'll just be really cool to see how the studio gets utilized and I'm very glad that we have now a proper studio space to be able to do almost anything we want. This next year, I, I'm, I'm very excited for what I believe our team is capable of doing in this next year. Having the new space, the new studio, the new podcast booth, the growth of our team and services, I feel like we as a company have been set up very well to do a lot of really neat things in 2022. And I am very, very excited to see what we can pull off. As we conclude yet another chapter of the Pixel Lab story, we find ourselves in a state of nostalgia. So many people, places, and things have led us to this exact point. Miles traveled, hours logged, lunch breaks devoured. We started as a small video production company. Now who are we? A thriving marketing agency, entering a new era, built up by countless dedicated creative minds over many years. It hasn't been easy to get where we are, and it won't be any easier to get where we want to be. And yet we still press on. Year after year, ad after ad, pixel after pixel. Life goes on. And we're proud to be living it.